this is Vlad Stanovsky, and today we will discuss the value of the logical data warehouse, and particularly how SQL producing applications leverage IBM's uniquely capable, efficient, and familiar Big SQL. In this demonstration, you will see how IBM Cognos and SPSS produce insight directly out of both Hadoop and a traditional data warehouse using IBM Big SQL. In a previous demonstration posted here, we demonstrated how Cognos can provide speed of thought analysis out of Big Insights with the help of Blue Acceleration and Cognos Dynamic Cubes. You can see the SQL that Cognos generated, as well as the end results in terms of charts and graphs for the end user. This is what we call descriptive analytics, which tells us what has happened. In today's demonstration, with the help of IBM SPSS, we will take this further into predictive and prescriptive analytics. Dashboards and reports are very good at providing insight, but operationalizing analytics is where we actually maximize productivity and profitability. In other words, operational analytics is where we improve how we do our business. This is a demo that we showed last time, and you can see that now we also have Twitter sentiment, both positive and negative, coming in from Big Insights. And that is by product line, as you can see. That is contrasted by revenue, again by product line, coming in from our traditional data warehouse all on the same chart. So what you see is not only heterogeneous data sources on one chart, but the logical data warehouse at work, bringing in big data. And blue acceleration with Cognos Dynamic Cubes is what provides us with speed of thought analysis. So that is how we can filter the entire dashboard for just the product lines that we're interested in. And for our purposes, we're interested in comparing the two top revenue producing product lines. So we'll go ahead and filter on camping equipment and personal accessories. And you notice that the entire dashboard refreshes for those two product lines. Two things stand out to me right away, and that is camping equipment is not only underperforming in terms of revenue, but it also has the highest number of negative tweets. But today we will go beyond this dashboard, which is a domain of descriptive analytics or business intelligence. This is a fictitious online retailer based on the great outdoors retail data. Those of you more familiar with Cognos will know that Great Outdoors is a fictitious retailer with a data set that's been the mainstay of Cognos data samples provided to our customers. And if you've ever taken a Cognos course, you may recall that the same data set is used in training. Currently, this online retailer does not know who I am, and thus only generic offers are being presented. But once I log in, custom offers will be presented. So let's go ahead and log in. So now the page has been refreshed and I am presented with my special offers based on who I am as a customer. We can see there are two special offers that are being offered to us. There's a credit card offer and 30% off on sunglasses. Let's take a look at the details behind these offers. These are data points coming to us from, from SPSS Predictive Analytics. So we can see that this particular offer, 30% off on sunglasses, is part of our retention campaign. It has a predicted profit of $16, a minimum profit of $10, a 10% likelihood to respond, and we can see the revenue and the estimated cost as well. There's another offer, which is this credit card offer. Let's take a look at the parameters of this offer. This offer is part of our cross-sell campaign, and we can see that the predicted profit, probability to respond, and other uh, parameters are slightly different. Now, if I log in as a different user, the offers presented will be different. So let's go ahead and log in, or first, let's go ahead and log out, and then log back in as a different shopper. And now I see that I have a different offer. I have a travel offer, which is also part of our cross-sell campaign. Now let us see how these offers are actually generated. This is IBM SPSS Analytical Decision Management. You will notice that there are a number of pre-built accelerated templates for various use cases. Marketing campaign optimization, managing incoming claims, predictive maintenance, and more. 
In our demonstration, we use the customer interactions template to build and deploy our online retail offer rules. Here we can clearly see the project steps in a graphical format. We start with our source data, then we apply customer segmentation, then we apply our campaigns with the campaign rules. The next step is to prioritize the offers based on things such as how likely a shopper is to respond to an offer or what is the potential profitability of an offer. And then finally, we deploy our offers on our website. We will examine a couple of these steps. Let's take a look at a segmentation piece. So here's where we segment out customers that have had a bad payment record, customers to whom we've made an offer recently, and also we're only looking to make offers for the product category of personal accessories. Now all of these parameters are coming in from our traditional data warehouse, which has things like past purchase history, payment records, demographic information on our customers, etc. And the next step is where we define our campaign. So we have two campaigns. We have a retention campaign and a cross-sell campaigns. And within each campaign, we have a number of different offers. So within the retention campaign, we have a 30% off on sunglasses offer. So if a shopper is female, and if she's from the city of Miami, and if the Twitter sentiment polarity is majority positive, then and only then make the offer of 30% off on sunglasses. Now let's pause for a second here. We're combining data points from both Twitter, which is coming in from Hadoop or Big Insights, with data that is coming in from our traditional data warehouse. So while the gender of the customer and the location of the customer is situated in our traditional data warehouse, we're also testing to see whether the tweets that are coming in from the city of Miami that are posted by females for personal accessories, whether the majority of those tweets are positive. And if so, then and only then make this offer. So what we see here is that Twitter sentiment data is directly brought in from Big Insights with the power of Big SQL and the logical data warehouse. Now, finally, let's examine the data as it is stored in, in Big Insights. So here are the tweets that have come in. And in addition to the tweets, we also have additional metadata coming in from Twitter. So additional information about each tweet. So we can detect things like whether there is sentiment in the tweet itself. And, and if there is, is it positive or is it negative? And this comes courtesy of our IBM alliance with Twitter. So what we've seen today is how Cognos and SPSS can operationalize big data analytics using the logical data warehouse by leveraging IBM's uniquely capable Big SQL. Before I conclude, a shout out to Vlanir da Silva, who helped me build this demonstration. Thank you.